Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Welcome to the documentation for the Divi events calendar. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic event category page using the Divi theme builder and using our modules. You can find this here in our documentation area. I'm going to be walking through this guide here. We have a written guide and this is where the video will be located as well. So this is a pretty easy process and it's not going to take very long. First of all, I just want to explain a little bit of what we're doing. So basically the events calendar has event categories. And right now, if you were to go and click on one of those, you would go to a page that is not easily customized at all. And the goal here is to use our modules like the events feed module with the Divi theme builder so that you can have full control over the event page. So let me show you what I mean. I'll just go ahead and click on this category here. So I'm, I'm just in this demo here and I see that this event is in the music category. So I wanna go look at other events that are in that category. So I open this up and you'd come to a page like this and you can see that there's no real way to customize this at all. Um, you can't use Divi and you'd have to use CSS if you wanted to customize anything here. So what we want to do is use the theme builder to override this template and that'll give us the ability to design this however we want. All right, so here we go. The first thing we need to do is create a Divi theme builder template and we can find this by going to our website and go down to Divi and then theme builder. From here, we need to add a new template for the event categories. So I'll go ahead and click on add new template. And here you can scroll down and what we're looking for is all event category pages. Here it is. So we'll go ahead and select that option and then go down to the blue button, create template. So right now what we've done is added a new template here and the global footer and header automatically applied. And we don't really need to worry about that right now. We're just worried about building that custom body. Remember it's this area in here that we want to customize. All right, so go ahead and click on add custom body and then build custom body and then go ahead and click on build from scratch. Now this opens up the familiar Divi builder. You can do anything you want here. So we could add a row like this and then we could add something like a text module because we want to make sure that, you know, we have the title for the category pages. When someone clicks on music here, we might want it to say, you know, music, and we can do that. You could just write, you know, current category or something like that, but that wouldn't be as good. So we can go here and click this button. That's the dynamic content button in Divi. It says use dynamic content, click on there. And then the option that you would want is post slash archive title. So basically this will automatically bring in the title of the page. So if we're on the music category, it'll say music here. Okay, and then next we could add one of our modules. So let's add the events feed module. Just type in events like that and then click on events feed. And again, this you can do anything you want here. You could add other Divi modules and you can customize this module however you want. But the key here is to always remember when we're building a template like this that's dynamic, we need to turn on this toggle that says dynamic event content. And if you click on the help text, you'll see some explanation. You know, this turns on dynamic content for the module, which allows you to place the module in a Divi theme builder layout, which we just did, to dynamically display event categories for the current category or page. All right, so basically what we're doing by having this turned on, this will only show events that are in the music category when we go and view that. So let's go ahead and save our changes here. And then we'll go ahead and go up to the top corner here, click the button to exit, and then save changes. Now when we go back to that music page, we'll refresh that page. Okay, so here we are on the category page for music. Notice how each one of the events that are showing has the category of music. Okay, so if we were to click on a different one, maybe we were back here in this layout and now we would go and click on community events. 
and then all the ones that are in the community events category show up here. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed learning how to do this. You can always browse our other documentation on how to use the events feed module or any of our other modules, and then a list of all the settings and all of our other resources here. And of course, let us know if you have any trouble or any questions.